Hi, I'm Jean Malto, floral designer at greenfloralcrafts.com, and here's our link. Welcome to our do-it-yourself video series. Today I'm going to show you how to create do-it-yourself branch centerpieces. We at greenfloralcrafts.com sell many different types of branches, both dry and fresh. And here's some examples. We have our red dogwood, white mitsumata branches, our black pussy willow. This is our green dogwood. But today I'm going to sh showcase our uh, dried curly willow branches. I'm going to also show you how to embellish them and how to create beautiful centerpieces. These are our three to four foot dried curly willow branches. When you receive these branches, try to separate them and uh, pick up the straight ones, gather them in your hand like so. And then put the ones that curve to the left or to the right on the outside part of your hand and kind of lift the branch higher because I'm using a Pilsner base and it's narrow at the bottom and it's wide on top. I think this is enough for my hand. So I'm just gonna push the bottoms and then put them inside the vase. And I shake it up. If you want to add more branches, go ahead and do that. I think here's another blank space here. Here we go. What do you think? Now we're ready to add or embellish this arrangement. I have here some dendrobium orchids. They are in this clear vials. So what I did was in order to make it more natural is I'm using some green floral tubes here and I sprayed them with TAC 1000. And uh, what you normally do is when you spray it, leave it for about 60 seconds and then roll it on the moss and this is what I created and here are some that I already uh, made earlier so what I do is I uh, just transfer the orchid in here I think I need a towel for this And I can just lay it here, or I can attach it with green decorative wire. All I do is cut the small piece and wind it around the branch. And then I crimp the edges. Now I have all these prep vials and I'm going to exchange them with this clear plastic ones. Oops, squirting. Let me get my towel. Now that I have the vials exchanged, I'll transfer these dendrobiums into the vase. I'm gonna put a few of these dendrobiums around the rim of the vase so it kind of bends downwards. Since we don't have anything at the center of the arrangement, I'd like to put a few of these here by again attaching them with decorative wire. I specifically use this color of decorative wire because it kind of matches the color of the stem of the dendrobium orchids and also the tips. See? Two 
to give a little bit of elegance to this uh, arrangement, I have here these green beads, which I would like to hang on the branches. Let it just hang. Now that you know what I'm doing, let's just speed up the film. And when we get back, I'll be done hanging all the beads, okay? There are so many different ways you can embellish an arrangement like this. To change the look, you could either add birds like these, Or you could hang butterflies like this. Or you could use a hanging pendant. And in this case, I'm going to use a succulent because it lasts like this. And I'll find a sturdy branch to hang it on. As an option, I'm going to add the flower to that succulent. Like this. To make this arrangement more glitzy, you can add crystals at the bottom of the vase before you put your branches in. Instead of using plastic beads, you can use crystal beads. This will really look great with uplighting. And I also have this glittered silver butterflies. All three go together very well. I'm Jean Malto, floral designer at greenfloralcrafts.com. Please come and visit our website. We have so many different branches you can choose from, both fresh and dry. Thank you for watching and see you next time.